Tinker Bell channel here. Welcome to your love reading. Um, I'm very excited that we're going to be doing a uh, double deck, a double deck reading for you, Aquarius, just for you. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. I also want to uh, just take a couple seconds because I think grat gratitude is something very important and I want to show you mine. You have been such a supporter, Aquarius. You have been um, so loving towards me, so supporting, leaving amazing comments and subscribing, viewing my videos. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate so, so much. Aquarius, you're amazing. And I hope I can deliver better and better videos for you okay just let me know what you like or dislike and i'm here for you aquarius um you're really special i really really love your creative mind your open-mindedness and your spirit in general okay let's get started i would like to know what's going on with aquarius see jumping cards just for you guys uh -huh. We have an Eight of Cups, Aquarius. I can tell with that card that perhaps, maybe, just maybe, you may be um, content you are. So, uh, because that is the before tarot, it couldn't, yeah, okay, okay. There's the before and the after tarot that I'm using here, but I don't think we need to get stuck on that too much by what I've been experiencing. Well, um, so you have the Eight of Cups and then the Tower. Um, either you or the person you're interested have left a painful situation. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Mm. Uh, the reason for that was that some new passion, some new ignition on this relationship uh, caused a tower moment, which means a shocking discovery, a shocking situation, a shocking event. And then that shocking event, the person who left uh, either did this because they felt like they were stabbed on the back several times over and over again, 10 times, or they just did that because, um, um, or the person who stayed, uh, who, who didn't initiate the leaving, withdrawing, emotional, uh, felt that way because out of the sudden the other one left. And let me rephrase this. When I say left, the relationship doesn't really mean that they did leave. Actually, especially for many of you, they didn't even leave. They're, you're still together, but the person is absolutely withdrawing emotionally from you um you're seeing like they f you feel like you feel like they are slowly devaluating you or vice versa it could be you you are slowly taking um i don't want to say taking them for granted because it, for some of you it could be, but for some of you, it's not that. For some of you, it's just that you don't feel like they spark anymore. You, you feel like oh, you feel like you need more from this, and it's not going anywhere that you want it to go. Or, yeah, for some of you, there's just a new passion 
something new, which doesn't necessarily even need to be a new love. Could be, or could be just someone you're sexually interested in, or, or they are, but doesn't have to be that either. Could be just a new hobby, something that, you know, gives you the chills, like something you really want to do or they want to do that th is taking a lot of time and they're no longer devoting all that time they used to for the relationship. Um, but this all happened because some shocking situation, some, some, some shocking event made this new spark come, this new passion, and also made the other person withdraw, or you, or, you know, the shocking event made someone withdraw emotionally, feeling like they got all that they should from this, and they want to just move on, and the tower moment could also have made someone feel like they have been <sighs> deadly stabbed on the back several times, over and over and over again. So I don't know which part did that or not, but yeah, you have to put it on your situation as it resonates because again, Right, Aquarius, you know, I cannot read for all of you. I wish I could, but I can't. So um, I need to try to explain card by card and see what resonates. I also want to say, hey, hi, Cross Watcher. Welcome here, okay? This reading is for you too. You are included. I may say Aquarius a lot, but I may be picking up on your energy and I may be talking exactly about you and what is going on with you in Aquarius situation. Uh, flipped, right? Like you could be Aquarius when I say that. Anyways, but could also be that it's not. So please, cross watcher, you have an extra word to figure out how does that resonate. As you guys see, as I was talking, the devil came up. Um, don't need to be scared about this, okay, guys? This is just meaning that... Um, a few things. Um, it's definitely Capricorn energy here. So it could be that some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I also see Scorpio energy here. Um, but you, this just means that um, perhaps this new passion, I mean, this means uh, several things. So let me go again, just explaining the meaning of this card so you can use what resonates for you, okay? Number one, with the Ace of Wands, with the, with the Tower, with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups there, I can't help but mention that this could be a new love, a new partner, or also a third party. So perhaps someone have been betrayed or cheated uh, on, right? You can see one, two, three people and more here, right? So, yeah, so it could be that someone was uh, seeing other people Oops, oh my God, my camera went crazy right now. <laughs> Oops, behind someone else's back, which is very sad. I'm really sorry, guys, if that's your situation that you're on the other end. Uh, it's very, very painful. So that could be why the devil showed up here. It could be also simply because uh, you're being tempted or the other person is being tempted. Perhaps they didn't even cheat it yet, but they definitely want, uh, they're, they're very, uh, with a lot of fire, a lot of uh, passion about someone new, someone out of the relationship, uh, especially if they're married, they're having a lot of thoughts and um, yeah, wanting very, very much to be with uh, someone else there. 
there is also another aspect which is uh, you and them one of you guys or both may be feeling a lot of sexual energy for each other to the point that may not even be that healthy it's more like a lust like crazy right like um one of you guys are in bondage for the other it's so much lust the sexual energy is so much that, that it became like a addiction how you want to do is just that person or vice versa or they are feeling like that about you so it's like over and over and over again okay um Another thing about this is maybe talking about addictions, which is anything someone does too much of, right? Uh, balance is always good, but if you do too much, then it's an addiction. So it could be addiction to smoke, addiction to drinking, addiction to food, eating too much, addiction to sex, even too much of or addiction of, you know, gambling, addiction of, um, you you know, you name it, right? It goes on and on and on. Um, so shopping could be addiction too. So uh, yeah, guys, so that's what is alerting you about. Also, guys, uh, lastly, it could indicate an unhealthy, dynamics on the relationship like codependence someone needs to be the victim i mean i mean I, i have all the respect for people that are codependent i absolutely understand i have very close dear of mine that uh, were in that situation and there's no joke okay in no way i'm trying to dem demean uh, anyone that unfortunately isn't that Uh, situation but yes yeah, someone else you know have all these strings on that person and and you know it's not healthy so it's basically abusive right it's an abusive uh, relationship um it could also be indicating you know abuse obviously all kinds of abuse could be just emotional could be psychological could be mental could be um physical and the abuse it's a hard thing to to point sometimes when it's not physical actually the emotional abuse the psychological abuse is really hard to even find out that you have it because it can be very coverted you could be dealing with some kind of psychopath sociopath or narcissist or you know you name it, the cluster B types. Uh, yeah, so this is what the devil energy is about. But um, I think what I'm feeling here that I'm hearing is that it's bro being broken. So you're probably getting out of it. Or you're conscious about it, at least right now. Finally. Or someone is, or they are. I don't know. Let's go get uh, more information for my babies, for my Aquarius, my lovies. Why is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, what else we can talk about? Uh -huh. Okay, see the page of wands. So we had the ace of wands and then the page of wands. Yes, uh, it's a new passion something new so my money goes on betting that the devil energy there just means uh most of you it will be a new love will be you know being tempted by getting someone else's pants <laughs> joking right guys you know i have to make some jokes every now and then uh but it it could be just all that i said before too because again i'm not doing a personal reading uh, okay and you know this message is come is gonna come soon and even the the passion action there if that's the case if it's about getting someone else 
Philippines is going to happen pretty soon. There's a lot of messages going back and forth. Could be towards uh, WhatsApp, could be towards uh, uh, emails, text messages. Um, I don't know why I'm having that one. What is that one that's yellow right now? I, I can't remember the one that the message deletes. Uh, God, why I don't... I can't remember right now. But I'm having... That one is the one that they're telling me that it is. And I can't remember. Is the yellow one with the little ghost guy. That app. Yeah, watch about that app. If you have someone that you're suspecting that may be cheating. Okay? Um... King of Swords is ready to uh, get in action there. Uh, the King of Swords, as you know, it doesn't need necessarily to be a male. Even if you identify yourself with a male or a female, it's not about the gender. It's about that it doesn't matter who you identify yourself with. You have both energy inside of you. And this is the King of Swords inside of you, ready to take action, meaning ready to go. This is a joke. I'm not going to allow this happen anymore, keep happening. I am going to bring the truth. I'm going to pass a sentence for this mess. If someone is trying to, you know, I... That, that can't stay for too long. And this is what the King of Swords can be. King of Swords can also mean um, contracts, agreements, you know, anything to do with paperwork as well. It could even signif mean someone in the law um, career. It could be a lawyer, a judge, something like that. They could be dealing with. They could also be dealing with someone on the uh, air signs, which is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, your, like yourself. There's also the page of wands could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So now I got two more cards for you. Again, the Eight of Cups here. Again. So this is the... Spirit here doubling down on the fact that someone, see, he was drinking the cups, he was entertaining the cups, and then he left. Basically, you, you know, had his time, had his um, uh, fourth one's time, and then uh, left for more, uh, more fulfilling uh, it doesn't, as I said, again, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to leave the relationship itself, right? They're just, they could be just withdrawing emotionally. It could be very temporarily. This is a minor kind of, meaning it's not something totally um, forever. Then we got here the 11-11 um, Twin Flame card. This is about marriage, reunion, you know, staying together, um, doing flame energy right here. I, I'm getting that this means that either uh, this new passion can represent, can be this person here, or um, maybe the person you're dealing with right now can be your twin flame but as you know twin flame is not as smooth I mean soulmate's not that smooth either but it's not as smooth as a as a soulmate uh, path anyways right guys if you don't know about it really go ahead and research there are tons of information out there uh, it, it's it can be a very rocky rocky way so we can see that in here and um, but this card also means some big celebration like a wedding, um, a baptism, you know, something that the family gathers to get gathers and you see people, family, friends of friends, like it's huge celebrations. Uh, so maybe 
there is something to do with this story, with the tower moment. I don't know. You need to apply that to your own story. Uh, what is that about? So I'm seeing here, again, someone was entertaining the idea, withdrawing emotionally, and finally someone felt completely defeated, um, a chapter ended uh, because there was a lot of communications going back and forth or perhaps there was an union passionate night with uh, another person perhaps even from the past someone that was met that you or they met in some kind of celebration wedding or mm -hmm. Uh, okay, yes, absolutely, yes, handling two people, yes, so they or you could have met this person in a work event, some kind of big celebration that could involve, have involved traveling, um, and that was a tower moment where uh, things shaked up, it was a very big Thing emotionally and all aspects physical all that uh, it had a toxic energy on it um, which is causing the king of swords to take some action and cut off this kind of double dealing um, yes and okay here we go it could even be indicating that someone could be even pregnant okay uh could have caused a pregnancy i all i want to say aquarius is that at the end here of the reading everything that's happening is for the best there's a lot of um abundance here with the the empress the empress is just saying that everything is for the best in a way that you are going to be blessed you're going to be nurtured by the divine feminine a mother which is going to take you on, the, on, on her you know on her arms and baby you and make sure that you have everything that you need not only physical but also uh especially emotional and also in the practical way of life uh career all that okay for you to not worry so much life brings all these up and downs but this tower moment was great for you to clean up the house to get closer to where you have to be in this life closer to your destiny all right aquario and i am going to leave it as is here i wish you guys an amazing um, month and I should be back here later with another reading for you soon thank you so much for your support if you haven't yet you know what goes around comes around so give me some love don't forget to thumbs up this video also if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for it's free and it's a great love giving subscribe for my channel and i will see you guys. and comment i love your comments like what's love love com comments or whatever you like feedbacks and i'll see you guys next time bye sweeties